Hey everyone, today we are going to talk about an interesting topic, Blue Man Syndrome. Before getting into the definition, let's get started with a case report. You can read more about this case report from this link and I will add that into the description. Let's get started. A 73-year-old man noticed progressive bluish skin discoloration which you can see from the A, which is here, and predominantly in some exposed areas about six years after he had started taking amiodarone. What is amiodarone? Amiodarone is basically an antiarrhythmic drug. It works by blocking certain electrical signals in the heart that can cause irregular heart beat. And he had been taking this drug 400 mg per day with a total cumulative dose of about 876 g at 6 year and 2900 g by the time of this assessment. And it includes about 18 years since the initiation of amiodarone. And we recommended a reduction in the dose of amiodarone, followed by the cessation of the drug, first the reduction and the cessation, in addition to use sunscreen and protective clothing. And one year after the patient stopped taking amiodarone, his skin showed marked improvement. And we are going to turn back and you can see it from the B. It's completely turned the normal. And let's get into the definition. What is Blue Man Syndrome? Blue Man Syndrome, also known as Argyria, can occur from long-term amiodarone use, which is our case, and however, it was initially seen in silver toxicity. And you can see significant bluish discoloration of the skin and this continuing amiodarone therapy frequently improves the discoloration. The etiology is not clear. And although photosensitivity reactions due to amiodarone are common, bluish gray skin discoloration is an uncommon adverse effect of amiodarone. And it occurs in less than 3% of patients undergoing chronic therapy. Let's talk about the possible cause. Amiodarone may accelerate normal cellular phagocytosis, leading to increased production of lipofuscin, which accumulates in lysosomes. And lastly, the prevention. All patients taking amiodarone should be consulted on some avoidance and the importance of sunscreen application and protective clothing. In addition, using lowest possible dose of amiodarone will minimize the risk of adverse effects. And that is the end of the video. If you liked it, please push that like button, subscribe to my channel and see you on the next video.